Constraint manipulation of 3D objects is traditionally achieved with 3D transformation widgets. Such small widgets are difficult to operate on a touch screen as they require careful touch positioning to trigger appropriate transformation tools. Our goal is to design a small set of multi-touch gestures for performing constraint manipulation of 3D objects in a widgetless and seamless manner. In this paper, we show that simple two-finger gestures, similar to those for 2D content interaction, suffice to support most constraint manipulating capabilities found in commercial 3D modeling interfaces. Axis constraint manipulations are the most common type of manipulations. We present a solution for axis constraint translation, rotation, and scaling, which uses only a single two-finger touch gesture. The axis of interest is determined by the orientation of the two touch points. Note that two fingers can be placed anywhere on the screen since only the orientation formed by the locations of the two points is used to determine the axis. This makes the gesture independent of scale and location. After an axis constraint is selected, subsequent movement, either along or perpendicular to the chosen axis, determines the type of transformation. Specifically, a two finger pan along the axis is interpreted as axis constraint translation. A two-finger pan orthogonal to the chosen axis performs rotation about that axis. A two-finger pinch along the chosen axis is recognized as axis-constrained scaling. Such gestures are seamless, combining the three basic steps of axis selection, transformation mode selection, and transformation manipulation into a single multi-touch gesture. Note that our interface does not require any widgets but only axes, which are for visualization rather than for direct manipulation. In addition to axis constraint manipulation, our interface also supports manipulation constrained within a given plane. A two finger tap selects a plane constraint. The plane selected is the one with its normals most similar to the orientation of the two touch points. Subsequent two finger pan is recognized as translation in the plane. Two finger pinch performs uniform scaling in the plane. Our interface easily supports multiple sets of axes. Here the red lines are world space axes and the green lines are screen space axes. Axis constrained manipulation in the world space and in the screen space can be achieved by simply selecting the relevant axes. Relative manipulation. For easier manipulation of an object relative to another object, we introduce two additional axes based interaction techniques. To snap two objects together, the user draws a freeform touch curve connecting the two objects. The tangent directions at the starting point and ending point of the curve determine the two snapping planes to be snapped. A noteworthy advantage of this interface is that the two snapping faces need not be visible from the current camera view, thus reducing camera control effort. Another useful operation is manipulating an object using an axis constraint from another object. In this example, to duplicate the dog's leg, we use a one finger long press to borrow the axis set of the body for manipulating the leg. The subsequent three finger gesture duplicates the leg and translates the new leg along the chosen axis. Another one finger long press toggles through the mode of borrowing not only the axis set, but also the center of the body for manipulating the leg. In addition to the operations shown in this video, our system includes additional supporting operations to provide a complete multi-touch interface for constrained 3D manipulation. Please refer to the paper for details. We performed a user study to compare our widgetless multi-touch interface with a widget-based interface that requires the user to directly manipulate the widgets positioned on the axes. Participants were asked to dock a given model to a target location in 3D space using these two interfaces. We recorded the completion time and performance data for comparison. The user study result shows that our interface requires less total time to complete the docking task.
Here we show an example of using our multi-touch interface to construct a fairly complex model from given primitive shapes.